<clears throat> Let's see if anyone is excited to see me today. He's in his hide. Wow. That's funny. He's longer than his hide now. Nose. Tail. Nose. Let's open it up and see if someone wants to come say hi. Tear. Tear. <laughs> Let's see him all the way back there. He's so pretty. So anyways, this is Tear, my blue tegu. He or she, I think it's a he, but you know, I could be wrong, is a little over three months now. Um, I haven't weighed him lately and I haven't measured him lately, but he is growing really fast. And he eats just about everything. He's still eating uh, beer bugs. And he is on a whole prey and fruit regiment diet. He is in a five by two and a half by three enclosure. He was put in there since the day I got him. I do not believe in putting hatchling tegus into glass tanks because I do not think that they hold heat and humidity right. Also, a tegu grows so rapidly and so fast that why not just start them out in a larger enclosure like a four by two by two and then gradually move on up was as they get bigger. We will be custom building him another enclosure probably this springtime. We will probably make him either a six by four by three or another eight footer depending on the, what we have room for. But he's growing rather fast and he's taming down really well. He's still a bit uh, feisty out of his enclosure but you know that's to be really expected with young babies. You know they see us as Godzilla Ooh, and we want to eat them but uh, he's starting to know that I am I'm not a threat. Hi baby. Yes. There's my baby tear. Hi, that baby. So Tear's a really good eater. And he's uh, starting to recognize his name. We're trying to socialize him more with people other than just me. I would like to start getting him out more and letting him roam as soon as he gets bigger. But he is using a topsoil organic soil with peat moss. It holds humidity really well. I also have leaf litter in here to help with the humidity as well. I also like the looks of it as it gives it a more of a fall color and more of a natural setting for his enclosure. I have provided several logs to help with aid of shedding. He has a nice big hide that he has taken a whole bunch of leaves into and made his own bed inside. Just some little decor. His water bowl, of course with the dirt, he gets dirt in his water bowl. 
So um, I do not give them a very big water bowl um, as their humidity is usually between 70 to 85 percent. And they do get uh, soaked about once or twice a week. Him on the other hand, he's not uh, very happy with uh, baths, but he does get sprayed with the mister every couple times a day. Hi, buddy. Anyways, this is Tyr. Um, he's on a pretty good schedule. His lights come on at 9 a.m. He's usually up by then. We eat at exactly 11.30. And then he usually sits here and he basks and he roams or he digs for a few hours. And then he's uh, back to bed usually about 5 or 6. And then his lights go out at 9. Every once in a while he'll come out after he's, uh, you know, he's been in, in bed. We do have, uh, you know, hands-on time also. He seems to shed, um, about every... So with shedding every, uh, 14 days, it lets me know that he's growing good. Um, he's not aggressive when I feed him but he has um, a really good feeding response. Um, I have bumped up his temperatures a little bit more now. They are at a, between 115 and 120 surface temp. Hi, baby. Yes, hi, baby. I do use a, a Power Sun Mercury Bowl. I believe that uh, those are the best bulbs out there. Yeah, so, yeah, he seems to enjoy him. So it's about 12 days since his life shed, and uh, he's getting ready to uh, start again. He's looking pretty dull. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, he's a good boy, though. He likes to rub up against his logs and everything else. Oh, yes. He is protective of his water bowl, though. I don't know why. He's never bit me, and he's never come out me to bite. So, that's good. I've been hands-on with him since day one. I got this little guy from Brad Wilson. Most of you guys know him on our groups and feeds. He's uh, got a few uh, figures himself that are just absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait for Tyr to start looking like his parents. But he's starting to change little by little every day. You do have that little nose. See, we know the little nose, don't we, Tyr? Okay, well anyways, it's feeding time. He's getting restless and he wants to eat, so talk to you later. So we know it's feeding time. We're going to feed him some roaches. Hey, right over here. Easy. Like I said, he's got a great feeding response. Okay. You want some more? Come on. I'm gonna put them in a jar so they don't run everywhere. And he'll probably eat like a good ten. I'm crazy about his his rotis. But yeah, we put him in this jar so that the rotis don't like 
crawl out and go everywhere in his enclosure. I don't like bugs. So, every time he sees his jar, he knows when it's time to eat. There you go, baby. There you go. But yeah, he can like munch down like 15 to 20 roaches per serving. And we're talking about like medium sized roaches too. So, my camera's having issues and I want to keep filming. Hopefully, it will let me but he gets pretty pretty worked up about his bugs and he knows when it's time to eat there's still one in there baby there it is there you go don't forget it there's still one more and it's a little one inside there you go oh, a couple little ones He's so funny. Did you get it? Good job. So, bugs are gone, and he still wants more. But 20 is enough for what he needs. So, oh goodness, he's such a fat boy. Yes. So, and some eating, and some filming, and details about. So funny he actually used to be able to fit through these little logs. <laughs> You're so funny, Tear. What are you doing? He likes his leaf. Oh. You're so funny. Yes, you are. You are so funny. What are you doing? Oh you got a you got an itch? Huh? Oh, you're done. You're done. Look at that belly. You're full. Say bye-bye.